Hey everyone, Michael here from fat to fit and in today's video, well before I start the video I just want to um, do a little bit of apology if I sound a bit funny. I, I went to the dentist a few hours ago and the anesthetic is still making my mouth numb so sorry if I sound a bit funny. But in today's video I wanted to go over something that a lot of people kind of ask me and um, something that um, people really want to know about and that is supplements, what am I taking, what should you take, etc. When I first started lifting, I didn't really take any kind of supplements like protein powder or pre-workout or anything like that for about the first six months of lifting as I didn't think I needed it. But the first supplement I started taking pretty much was a protein powder and I started with Optimum Nutrition, um, their extreme chocolate extreme chocolate milk flavor I think it's called. Uh, this one's cookies and cream which is a pretty alright flavor as well. But most of your protein should be coming from foods such as meats, eggs, etc. But um, if you do need that little bit of extra protein at the end of the day or just because you missed out on a meal or something throughout the day, protein powders are pretty good. I generally go with Optimum Nutrition or this is another one, um, Cellucor Cinnamon Swirl Flavor. Um, I had the cookies and cream, funny story, I had the cookies and cream flavour and I've still got half of that one but I really don't like the flavour that much. I like the extreme chocolate but not that one so much. So I went online and read a lot of reviews and everybody's like, get the cinnamon swirl flavour, it's a really good flavour, tastes really good. It turns out I don't really like that flavour either so now I'm stuck with two tubs of protein but I'll eventually get rid of them. Um, another supplement I take is C4, so just... Um, a pre-workout, um, Icy Blue Raz is my, ooh, let's see if I focus, Icy Blue Raz is my favourite flavour. Um, so, once, you don't really need a pre-workout in the beginning, um, just being in the gym will be enough, but um, I started taking a pre-workout and it just, it just helps with the workout so much, especially when you're tired, um, it's really helpful for your workout. But if you're just a beginner, I wouldn't take it yet. And also an important thing is cycling off your pre-workout. So I generally get the 60 servings container. This one's 30, but normally the 60 servings. And when I finish that, I go off the pre-workout for about two to three months. That way you kind of don't build up the tolerance to the pre-workout. So when you start taking it again, it will be just as effective as the first time. If you just keep continuously taking pre-workout, you will build a tolerance to it. You, therefore, you'll need more and more to have the same effect. And um, I don't think it's too healthy having a pre-workout every, every single time. Um, so cycle off your pre-workouts, um, which will help you to get better workouts in. Um, now these are kind of, um, not supplements for the gym, but general supplements that I take. Um, I take a couple of fish oils every night, just your standard fish oil. And also, I take this other supplement just from my local supermarket called um, Vitamore Hair, Skin and Nails. Um, this one you don't really need. It's um, I take this one as a part of my regime for my loose skin. I still have quite a bit of loose skin, but it's tightened up considerably in the past year, and that's mainly um, due to me doing stuff like this, um, vitamin um, E oils, collagen oils, stuff like that, that I kind of rub. Um, but yeah, that's just for loose skin. I'll probably have a separate video on that on one point, but I'm not really comfortable showing my loose skin yet. Maybe one day. Um, I take... Um, recently, in the past few months, actually, I've started taking just a vitamin C tablet. So let me try to focus this. Um, just a vitamin C tablet, just to help. I thought I was lacking vitamin C, and it really prevents me from getting sick, such as it, um, a cold or something. It really builds your immune system, so that's what vitamin C is good for. Um, that's pretty much it for the supplements, but then the stuff I'm about to show now, I wouldn't really count as supplements, but um, it's something extra I normally take if I can afford it. And that's normally Quest products. So Quest chips, barbecue is my favorite right now, then sour cream, and then the sea salt or salt and vinegar or whatever it is. Quest chips along with Quest bars. Um, my favorite one being the s'mores flavor. I had one of those today's. today. I love the s'mores flavor. Um, it's the only Quest bar 
that I really, really like. Um, so, I really like the Quest products because they contain quite a bit of protein. Normally, like just in one bag of those chips, it's like 20 grams of protein, um, similar with the bar, and the calories aren't too bad as well. Um, I don't consider them uh, like a supplement supplement, but I normally have them when I'm lacking a bit of protein or I feel like some chips or something like that. And so, they really help to increase the amount of protein I'm taking in as well. Um, that's pretty much all the supplements I take. Um, you, There's not really any other extra supplements you can take. Um, there's a few other things for the more advanced um, lifters such as NO2 and stuff like that. But basically, protein powder and pre-workout is what most people take. Protein powder, you don't even really need it if you're getting most of your protein from your food, um, which you should be, and the protein powder should just be that little extra that helps you to reach your protein goals. Uh, so that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you for checking it out, and I hope it helped you to understand what I take and what you might need to take. Um, um, and what you might not need to take. So thank you for checking out the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you later, guys.